What's up? What's up? What's up? Back at it with Mr. Jared. Jared, you're like 185 right now. Yeah, I guess. I'll tell you what, he's keeping the weight off, which is actually about 50% better than what most people do. 50% of people who lose all the weight you do gain it right back. So working with Biggest Loser contestants, that was always the stat we were given. The way we make sure that Jared's not going to just I don't want to say relapse because it wasn't like you were addicted to food, but uh, re we were changing up the motive. We're changing up the reasoning as to why we're working out. It used to be, hey, we're losing weight, getting lean. Now it's going to be about getting some strength, building mm. some muscle. Ideally, want to get Jared about 195. Keep him under that magic 200 number. How tall are you, 6'1"? Yeah, 6'1 and a half. You're taller than me? Don't stand up straight. Keeping him under 200 pounds while feeling athletic mm. and increasing some strength. So if you get 10 pounds to do that with, today's workout that I really like in terms of the strength aspect of it. So still focusing on doing some cardio work during the week, but if this is you guys where you're, hey, I maybe have just gotten done with a summer sizzle or I've, I've put on some muscle or I've lost muscle as I've gotten leaner, where does that leave me? You might have a little phobia of putting on weight, but we gotta get, we gotta get around that. We gotta get this idea of, hey, it's not about just looks all the time. Yes, you might be the leanest you've been, but hey, what, what's a good, goal to have for a lot of people that's going to be increasing some strength and increasing some muscle mass and that's exactly what we're going to be doing today with this workout and on this program so we've warmed up we have some shoulders this is an upper body day we're going to jump right into it follow along with this one you guys can always check out more of this content on the fitness culture app let's jump into it right let's now do it okay guys we're going to be doing the washed up program this is for somebody who's coming back who's been an athlete before it's going to include some strength movements. Our goal is to always get stronger. So we have some strength progression as well as stay functional. Now, what I mean with that perfect example, we have a dumbbell hang snatch. Jared's never done these, but if you want to get stay or get explosive, these are a great one to do. So we have three sets of three on each arm, three by three, three by three, and then 30 and then 60 seconds of rest in between. But with these, we're going to be in a nice athletic position. You can start from the ground. Um, I always start people kind of from a hang position going all, all the way from the ground. It gets a lot of more posterior chain involved, but it gets a lot of people moving in properly. So I'm gonna, we're gonna do these today, like a hang, a hang clean position here. So just crack knees. We're not rounding the back and we're not overextending it. It's just a nice athletic position. We're gonna come down, squat down a little bit, and then explode up. One, two, three. We get a nice triple extension. So triple extension, ankles, knees, hips. As we stand up, we shrug, and then we get underneath of it. Give it a go. Just be an athlete. Let that athletic ability flow through you. I just kind of have it off to the side there. There you go. There you go. There you go. Don't let that strength take over. We're bending that arm. Pretend this is all in one line. Come straight up. Yeah. Better. As we come up. Yeah, so as we come up, and again, you didn't need to because you're strong enough. But what people, what you're going to feel is now, it'd be just the same if we had a bar. We want to keep, we're going to be strongest. If this gets too far out from our body, it's going to be heavier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got to keep it nice and close. As we come up, we've extended with things. Now this feels weightless because we're pulling up, we're shrugging. We've now started to bend the arm slightly. Boom. Second set, gone up a little bit. <sighs> Try to be explosive as we can. So as we go up in weight, we're still moving quickly. The minute form starts breaking down, too heavy. <sighs> nice athletic position, down. Fire up that central nervous system. Try it once. Yeah. Yeah. Give it a go. No. Next up, we got a dumbbell military press. We're gonna do, do it seating, so it's not a true military press. But what we're gonna have is three sets of eight here. First two sets, wanting to steer clear of failure. So I'm saying like an RPE. That's a uh, basically a, a rate of perceived exertion of about six to seven. So if you can do it 10 times, something you'd fail at about six. We have eight reps, so really think about something you'd fail at about 12. That's the first two sets. The third set, we're going to failure. Nice. 
Could have done two more. That's my RP, RPE of eight there. And then we got bent over a dumbbell row for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go light enough to where you're really pulling past what we would normally be doing if it was a bar. So bar here. We want to go light enough to where you're really getting a good contraction and then back down. Half second, hold it at the top. Good. Good. Oh boy. Oh yeah. All right, just when you thought you were done with your pressing, we got one more set. So take whatever weight you did on your last set and then take 20% off of it. So for me, that's gonna be, I got about 70s. I really got like 67 point something, but, and we're doing as many reps as possible. Failure with good form. So this is really where we're going balls to the wall on our fourth set here. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Come on. Twelve, three more. Come on. Come on. Oh, one more. Good. Oh, good stuff. That's a perfect example there of how working off an RPE really doesn't matter. Like when you look at what your one rep max is, if you're working off an RPE of eight and then you drop it by 20% and max it out, we actually got the same number of reps. So quality work there, we're moving on. Again, if you guys want to check out more of these workouts, we have so many different workouts that are always ongoing in the fitness culture app, whether it's at home, in the garage, you know, dumbbell, athlete, power, lean. Here we go. We got incline dumbbell bench press, neutral grip, and then we got bat wing row. Awesome. I told you, today's upper body day. Right now we got a little chest with back superset. Love supersetting chest and back. Talked about that a lot. Just the benefits also, your rest time can be cut down. So we're supersetting here a neutral grip, incline dumbbell press, and then we're right into a bat wing row where we're gonna lie face down, really pulling to the hip. We got three sets of eight again, three count eccentric. So that's the part of the lift where we're fighting gravity essentially. So when we're pressing, we press up, one, two, three, down, back up, and then with the bat wing row, row up, one, two, three. So. You're gonna to wanna to use something that's a little bit lighter than normal, still staying about two, two reps sh short of complete failure. And again, keeping a nice neutral grip bench here. Straight into the bat wing row. I'm feeling like I'm in a, in a good position right now, weighing like 206, 207. Would like to get up to 215. That's always kind of the battle for me. I tend to lose weight if I'm not on top of my training, on top of my eating. Some people, when they travel, they gain weight. I think it's just because I eyeball my food and I'm always gonna be on the kind of the side of cautiousness. Right now though, we're talking giant sets. So that's four things before we move on to our final thing, which is gonna be some hit cardio. Just 10 minutes, get it done. But first we got a neutral grip lat pull down. Everything's gonna be two sets done in super set or giant set fashion, 15 to 20 reps. So neutral grip lat pull down with a upright row, really trying to focus on, well, we'll talk about it, really trying to focus on keeping the weight close to our body. From there, lateral raise with some push-ups. So boom, 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 rest 90 seconds, do it all over again. I'm gonna finish off with a great pump and quality, really we're talking about muscular endurance here. So first things first, neutral grip pull down.
little washed up program. Tell you what, doing this program will get you anything but washed up. You'll be uh, back to your old self in no time. We're not done yet. I can't even talk. We're not done yet. We're not done though. We got uh, we got our 10 rounds of, of hit. You can pick whatever you want. 10 seconds all out. We're starting you nice and slow. 10 seconds all out, followed by 50 seconds of rest. It could be a assault bike. It could be sprints outside. It could be pull sprints. Anything max effort, 10 seconds, 50 seconds rest for 10 rounds. All right. Man, I'm gassed from that. Muscles. I know, Jared about threw up. Um, what we've decided to do, five of these and five sled pushes. So when I say all out on something, I want you to pretend like your sister's, mother's, grandpa's, wife's life depends on it. So you're on here. When you start, it's 10 seconds all out. Then you get 50 seconds rest. Get a little watch or a clock going. First one's not too bad. By that seventh, it'll be nasty. But we're gonna alternate. One of these and one sled push. I'm fast like Go. a gazelle. Go, you're up. All right, guys. Come on. That is it for this workout. Just spicy enough to make me uh, question, question everything. Feels good to get in here. We're gonna be following this program for a while here. I like, it's a blend of a uh, little bit of everything. Keeps you Athletic, we had the mobility program on here as well. Thank you guys for watching it. Oh, next time I think we'll have to come and do a leg day. Appreciate you watching. Make sure you click that subscribe. Nice and lightheaded for this one. We'll catch you guys next time.